slept in today. Definitely slept in today. I really needed it. And guess where we're at? You guys have seen me vlog here a million and a million times. Um, it's one of those days where you wake up and you're like, I need to go work out, move my body, but I have cramps and it's cold and I don't wanna go. So here's my advice to you. If you don't feel like going, at least show up and try it out. See how you feel and if you're just still not feeling it, leave. But I think that you can be surprised at what a good workout you can have when you at least just show up and try. My advice to you, good luck, go work out today. Whew. Just got done. 18. That's my friend Max. I just met him. He said, why aren't you down on the field working out with the track kids? I said, I have a mom. And he said, not many moms work out like you do. That was a compliment. So I tried to bust my own butt today. I can't even catch my breath. Whew. But we're doing sprints up the stairs. Just lots of energy bursts. Burn a ton of calories. I took my NLA for her. Pre-workout and the aminos. And I'm feeling good. Now we gotta head to parent teacher conference. Morning. You guys, all of day, all of today's vlog are gonna be clips of me going to the gym. Like that's all I do. But it's not. Yesterday the only thing I just vlogged was um me working out and then I didn't vlog anything else for the rest of the day. I had to go to Scouts last night. Hold on, I'm parking. And I'm like I think the greatest gift you can give sometimes is your time because I for sure don't know anything about the Boy Scouts. So my bishop was like, we'd like to call you into the Boy Scouts. I was just like, I could teach these boys how to tie a cheer bow. I don't know anything about the Scouts. So I am accepting the calling as a challenge because I think that sometimes that's why we get asked to do things is so we can learn and grow. And so I told the bishop, I was like, I will do it. And so keep your fingers crossed for me. I mean, I grew up with brothers. I know about boys and I have a little boy. And I think when you turn eight, you get to go into scouts. So Cooper eventually one day will be in scouts. So it will be a good thing. And the good thing is the lady that I work with or serve with, not work with, because we don't get paid, but we serve with, she um, has a little boy and he's in Cooper's class and they're friends. And she's like, I bring him all the time so Cooper and him can play. I'm like, oh, perfect. So, yeah, that's a new thing that's going on in my life. I've been called to be the Weeblos leader. Is this Weeblos? Is this gang signs? I don't know. So, I'm real excited, kind of nervous, and I just feel bad, though, because I'm like, I travel a lot, and so I hope that you're going to be real mad at me. But good news is I'm just the assistant to the other two ladies in the calling. So, I'm grateful that they are patient with me because I'm a little busy bee. So anyways, third day in the row, I've committed to working out this week and my butt cheeks are sore and that feels so good. It feels so good to be sore because that tells you that you're growing, you're getting stronger, something's working, and I'm headed to CrossFit this morning. CrossFit's real challenging, guys. Real super challenging. Monday, I went and just lifted and felt pretty defeated because it's been a while since I lifted like that and I'm just like, my muscles are baby muscles. They've shrank back to being babies. I'm not the Hulk anymore. Um, and then yesterday, you guys saw the clips of me and my friend Max. That guy was hilarious. He was, I don't know if he was trying to go home with me or he was genuinely just giving me compliments, but he was hilarious. Um, went and ran stairs at the Holt Arena. I did different kinds of stair running. I ran, just jogged them um, a couple times to warm up and then I did like bursts of energy, like hopped up as many stairs as I could go. And then I did single leg explosions, which really focuses on one muscle group and will really burn out those leg muscles. And then between the sets, I would do like mountain climbers or planks or abs. So super good workout. I could actually post it if you guys want me to, you want me to post it. But today we're gonna be doing a craft and I'm gonna fill you in a little bit on the life and we're gonna go to CrossFit. Maybe I'll get some footage. I think my good friend Jordan is going. You guys remember Jordan? Whoa, sorry, he's the fireman. He's um, ran into Shane Collette at Walmart and they're like, Jordan, you should come to CrossFit. And so he texted me last night and was like, um, should I come to CrossFit? And I was like, yeah, it's super fun. It's good to be able to be fit enough to do whatever you wanna do. And if it's CrossFit, come, come try it. And Jordan's in shape. So ladies, I'll get some footage for you. So Jordan or Shay or Colette did not show up for CrossFit today and they are in trouble. It was a killer workout. How do you guys feel about CrossFit? I know there's like this big discrepancy between bodybuilders or weightlifters and CrossFit and people thinking that you can't get symmetrically big 
or build muscle if you do CrossFit, but I don't care what anybody says. CrossFit is very challenging and it's hard. And I think the best thing that you can do for your body is muscle confusion and just changing it up. And that's why I love CrossFit because I feel like every time you go, it's always a different workout and you always are challenged. Like I feel like, um, you know, you get going to the gym, you get in your rhythm and the things you're comfortable with. I think it's good to do things that make you feel a little uncomfortable and just change things up. So go yell at Shay and Jordan. They all missed CrossFit this morning. I was the only one being a survivor. Um, I tweeted out that it's just me on the vlog today. Cooper's with his dad. My parents are at work. I'm a loner today. And um, so I was like, what, what should we do on the vlog today? And I'm like, oh, I know. How long has it been since we've done a craft? What, Carly can craft? Kind of. So I decided it would be fun to do <clears throat> a super simple craft just because I am no Hey Kaylee. She is so talented and amazing. But I do like to style things, Carly Styles. You get it? So I'm like, what would be a very simple craft that you could do that's under $5 that you can do for Thanksgiving and the end of November? Um, if you're hosting Thanksgiving, if you're going to take a plate somewhere, you could dress it up a little bit. Um, with this super easy DIY Thanksgiving wreath, table decor, whatever you want to do. Um, I just bought these giant leaves at Walmart for 98 cents a package. And in each um, package, I think there are, let's, I think there are 12-ish leaves. And then I bought this tweed rope is what it's called or um, it just comes on this guy Cooper was playing hang Batman with this rope or some some operation so that's why it's all unwound I bought that at Walmart for I think it was like a dollar 98 and then you can't have a craft without glitter spray I got the gold glitter spray and this one was like two bucks on so I got it grabbed it after Halloween so everything it was like six dollars for these crafts so this is all you will need and I'm going to, you can, again, this is probably potent and smells intensely. So if you want to do it outside, you can. Good thing I'm not a lightweight. I'm going to do it inside on the carpet because then you can just vacuum it up. No big deal. But we are just going to be tying these leaves randomly throughout this vine. You can hang it on your front door. You can lay it across your table. Um, you can kind of string it around the food at the table if you're trying to make it look fancy. So I'm just going to show you a quick and simple DIY table decor. Guys, if you're watching and you're not a crafter, how impressed will your mom or grandma or aunt or girlfriend or girlfriend's parents or fiance or whatever that woman in your life, special woman in your life be, if you show up with this DIY like honey I just wanted to spruce things up for Thanksgiving and I made this for our vegetable tray she will be very impressed so guys I want to challenge you to make this too so let's get started super easy here we go okay so if you're worried about your carpet put the leaves on the plastic wrap that they came in or some paper or some newspaper get your glitter spray and shake it really well because it says shake well and we're going to spray our leaves and coat them pretty generously sorry I was in the way with the spray and just make them nice and even. They're gonna get wet, so you're gonna spray each and then you'll set it off to the side. But look how pretty that is. It just kind of dresses it up a little bit. So set them off to the side and go through and spray your leaves. All right, so now, whoa, I got a little intense on this leaf. Hey, glitter girl. Um, so now that those are done, just let them dry for a bit and then decide if you wanna do like two strings of leaves or one strong um one string of leaf of leaf you know what i'm saying i think this could also be super cute to like hang down your railing if you have a big staircase in your house or hang from your fireplace um whatever you want to do i want to see you guys tweet me pictures how creative are you going to get um you could hang them in your house until thanksgiving day and then you can use them for table decor but let your leaves dry and then decide if you want to do one long string of leaves or two short ones or three whatever the options are unlimited and my fingers are now glitterified who doesn't love glitter okay remember at the end of the string you don't want to tie the leaf right there because you're going to want some room for the to be able to hang so we're going to go about a foot in and then tie our first leaf right there okay so also you can either hang all your leaves in one direction or you can kind of make them alternate going up and down i think on this string i'm going to go up and down 
Okay, now you have a table runner for your leaves. And I kind of kept slack in between so that you can, you know, kind of play up the string and how far you want your leaves to stretch depending upon your table. But it's just a cute little table runner for Thanksgiving. And I even thought it would be a great idea to give people cards at Thanksgiving, put a little punch hole and have them write things they're thankful on, and then put it on along the string. And then next year for Thanksgiving, you guys can read what you're grateful for the year before. Whoop, as I just ruined it. So you can make them as messy as you want or as clean as you want, but it's just kind of fun to throw on the table and, you know, kind of imagine some rolls here and the turkey here and, you know, the vegetable plates here. Just a cute little DIY wreath takes literally less than five minutes and it's pretty. It's leaves, it's fun, and you can reuse it. So I hope you guys like that little craft. It's super easy to do. I would love to see you guys recreate it. Tweet me ideas. Maybe you have better ideas for ways to dress it up or things you can add to the wreath. Um, not even, it's not even a wreath. And then you could hang it like, you know, coming down your door, like I said. You could do it on a banister. You could do it across your fireplace. You could even like hang it on the wall if you're trying to dress up your table. Um, you could do anything you want. The options are endless. But I would love to see you guys recreate this and tweet me pictures because I get excited when you guys do my simple, super simple craft just because I'm not a crafter. So when I do come up with something like this, I'm like, good job, Car Car. You got a little bit of that womanly touch in you, just maybe a little bit. I don't know what gets you guys in the mood more than a fireplace and crafts for the holidays. But speaking of the holidays, I wanted to talk a little bit about how we can better prepare for the holidays. You know, we have Thanksgiving come up, coming up, and we have Christmas, we have New Year's Eve, and then along with all those, you know, we have family get-togethers, and if you're married, you have two sets of families you have to visit. And often holidays can be stressful because you want to be able to be present and you want to be able to get gifts and to give gifts and often that all circulates around money and if you're going back to school or you're trying to budget or you're trying to save money sometimes that's hard because there's not extra money laying around um, during the holiday season and this can often be very stressful for families and single parents and so today i wanted to give you guys an opportunity to make a little bit of money um, we are teaming up with a company called Opinion Outpost. And basically they're just a research company who wants your opinions on brands and reviews and they will reward you with money and or gift cards. So all you have to do is click on the link below in my description box. It will take you straight to the website and they will explain everything to you. And you can do as many surveys as you want or as little as you want. And I believe that for every survey you do, you can be entered into a $10,000 um, gift card giveaway. So why not take your chances and do a couple surveys, get some gift cards if you guys are stressed for the holidays with making money or feeling like you're not gonna be able to get people presents or you're stressed about that, then this can be a way or an opportunity for you to make some money. So click on the description box below. There's gonna be a link right at the top for you guys. And so hope you guys are excited about that opportunity. I think it's super easy, awesome way to create stocking stuffers or gifts that you don't have to, you know, spend extra money on. Go do a little extra work, take a survey, and get some free gifts card. I'm totally down for that. Um, I believe they're like Amazon, iTunes, gift cards, and or cash. And the $10,000 giveaway is amazing. And you can enter that as many times as you want. So I love you guys. I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. Um, get out, move your bodies, be healthy, set goals, love yourself, and tweet me pictures of your guys' DIY Thanksgiving table decor or wreath or door hanging or or mantle hanger, whatever you want to call it. I want to see it. I want to see you guys recreate it yourselves. Tweet me pictures. I would love it. I love your butts. Have a wonderful, fabulous Wednesday. And don't forget tomorrow's video vlog is video vlog is going to be of ways you can organize your traveling and how to pack and how to keep that organized. Because sometimes if you guys are like me the night before, you're like, Oh my gosh, what do I need to take? So I'm going to share with you guys tomorrow my tips and tricks on traveling and ways that have helped me to stay organized and on track and not to overpack. Even though I do almost every time, I have finally come down to a system where it really helps me to like, Carly, you don't need 40 pairs of shoes, okay? Let's, let's do this. So check out tomorrow's vlog and I love you guys. We will see you later. 
So hope you guys are excited about that opportunity. I think it's super easy, awesome way to create stocking stuffers or gifts that you don't have to, you know, spend extra money on. Go do a little extra work, take a survey and get some free gifts card. I'm totally down for that. Um, I believe they're like Amazon, iTunes, gift cards and or cash and the $10,000 giveaway is amazing and you can enter that as many times as you want. So I love you guys. I hope you have a fabulous Wednesday. Um, get out, move your bodies, be healthy, set goals, love yourself and tweet me pictures of your guys' DIY Thanksgiving table decor or wreath or door hanging or, or mantle hanger, whatever you want to call it. I want to see it. I want to see you guys recreate it yourselves. Tweet me pictures. I would love it. I love your butts. Have a wonderful, fabulous Wednesday. And don't forget tomorrow's video vlog is video vlog is going to be of ways you can organize your traveling and how to pack and how to keep that organized. Cause sometimes if you guys are like me the night before, you're like, Oh my gosh, what do I need to take? So I'm gonna share with you guys tomorrow my tips and tricks on traveling and ways that have helped me to stay organized and on track and not to overpack. Even though I do almost every time, I have finally come down to a system where it really helps me to like, Carly, you don't need 40 pairs of shoes, okay? Let's, let's do this. So check out tomorrow's vlog and I love you guys. We will see you later.